What's up, P Hole Pop Rocks? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. And we're starting something different. Tonight is the very first episode of the McStud Show. Since we do a, typically a 25 to 30 minute video every night, I was like, why not just call it the McStud Show instead of just labeling it? <laughs> How's that sound, Mrs. McStud? Sounds good. I think I've got a little more, a little more beam in here. I think it's just the apples. Oh, wait, I got a red stag left too. But uh, we'll do the apples and save the uh, best one for last. Is that the last one? Yep, that's the last one. Uh, but I thought of a topic today as I was driving home. <clears throat> Miss McStud's got the Coors Light, I've got the Ice House. You hear that? A sprinkle when I tinkle. Oof. Ah. Uh, what do you feel about, or how do you feel about manners, Mrs. McStud? Uh, there are no fucking manners. There are no fucking manners. That's exactly right. And that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to saying, please, thank you, excuse me, sir, ma'am. Well, you can't say sir and ma'am anymore because then people will think you're assuming their gender and they get offended. Gender. Gender. Uh, which is okay, but it, I'm, we're old school. It's like a mm, sign of respect. so good. You like to smell that? That straight smells like sour apple. Mm. Ugh, bag of dicks. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got, got the Granny Smith apple on top of it. Ah, yes. Before I go on a roll with my first thing of manners, let's try this apple bullshit. You like crown apple. I can drink it, but... It's so sweet and sour apple-y. <laughs> like, I hate those sour apple candle candles, candies. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah, I dislike it. Uh, I'm going to say something I haven't said for a while with my other, since my other uh, video series. Uh-oh. Are you ready? Yeah. You want to know what chaps my ass? Oh, Lord. Yeah. This really chaps my ass. When you hold the door open for someone and they just walk by without saying thank you. That's like one of the most irritating things in the fucking you know what world. What pisses me off that goes along with that? What's that? If somebody's holding the door open for you and then they use the other door. Or they take their sweet ass time. Yeah. Or they say, thank you, but still open the other door. I'm like, really, you douche? Yeah. Next time I will open the door. Yeah. Uh, for those of you guys that don't, <laughs> women, guys, anyone that doesn't say thank you when someone holds the door open for you, go fuck yourself. Shove your fist so far up your ass, your elbow snaps in half. I don't give a fuck. You are part of the problem in this country. Manners. I don't like this can because I can't hold it to where it shows my... Oh, well, that's okay. No worries. What kind of beer did I get today? A Modelo. No. Oh, you got Miller Lite. I got you a case of Miller Lite because that's what you wanted. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And I they were still on sale. I forgot what I wanted. Well, that's okay. They've been on sale for a long time now. Yeah. Like, they stay Since on sale. Before... Well, there was a couple weeks, Memorial Day. a few weeks they weren't, but like recently they've been on sale for fifteen ninety nine for a case of Miller Lights or Coors, the, the regular domestics, Miller Coors, Bud Coors Bud Banquet, Light. Bud Light, um, those are the only ones that Meyer. Sorry, that's completely yeah. off topic. No, that's okay. Um, I'm a little tired, so that's what I do. That's okay. Um, what the fuck happened to saying please for shit? Motherfuckers just the demand. They expect. They expect shit. Hey, grab that for me. I ain't grab. Can you say please? That's a could. Problem. Could you please hand me that? The problem, though, honestly, is that people expect too much, <clears throat> and they don't think that they have to ask please because they expect you just to do it. There's a sense of motherfucking entitlement in this country with everyone. Everyone feels like they're entitled to everything. Everyone feels they're entitled for free shit. Something like, for people to do stuff for them. I'm sorry. You ain't entitled to shit. Get off your ass and fucking work for it. Do it. Get it done. Stop expecting everyone else to cover your ass. I'm a hard-headed motherfucker. How often do you have to tell me to stop doing things for myself when my back's in fucking shambles? I do. And I still do it because I don't like to ask for help. Like, it takes a lot for me to ask for help. Uh, it's yeah. like a humbling moment. 
I'm like, God, I gotta ask for help for something I should be able to do myself. But I sure as hell don't expect it. And I will not ask unless you make me. <laughs> Typically, I just do it. Yeah. <laughs> but so many people just, they, they just expect it. Or if you're walking in somewhere, they expect you to hold. You ever had that? Someone expects you to hold, open the door for them? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you walked up there first. You should be the motherfucker holding the door open. It's mostly women that does that. They just stand at the side and let, try to make the guy open the fucking door. Sometimes they'll, yeah, they'll wait. Yeah. They'll see someone walking in and they'll sit there and wait for him to come in and open. I'm like, if that's the case, I say, fuck you and yourself. I walk in first. And, it's and then I'll just, I'll prop the door open. So. I mean, don't be a fucking cunt like that. Seriously. That's ridiculous. Now, uh, you know, go ahead. Nothing. I want to hear. I'll tell you after. Oh, okay. Uh, one thing uh, I do do for Mrs. McStud on occasion, not very often because she hates it, is open the car door for her. She's like, I can open my own motherfucking door. That just delays leaving. Like when we first started talking, you know, I, I, I can get the door myself. Like, I'll just, just get in the door for you. Especially if it's raining or something, just jump in the motherfucker. Don't well, fucking be there and spend any more time out in the rain. Get the fuck over there. It's not that you uh, bothers me that you open the car door. If you just open it, you know, and let me get in and walk, continue to walk around, that's fine. I shut but the door if for you. I have to stand there to wait on me to get in the fucking car. And the car's kind of tall for me. And it takes a minute because, like, I put all my shit down just so I can get up there. Yeah. And then you have to shut my door. And then walk all the way around. I mean, we could have done been the fourth of the way home. Uh, you see some of the reason why I love this woman so much. Because she's that way. <laughs> Not that I absolutely would never do that for her. I try. <laughs> she's like, cut that shit out. I'm like, you're a lady. She's like, I ain't no motherfucking lady. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> Says the woman that can burp louder than me sometimes and totally ripped a loudest fart in front of me that I'll never forget a few years back. Today though. over in the smoke area, uh -huh. we had this, <laughs> this was funny, a home office lady walk out mm -hmm. and I was sitting there and I was talking to one of my friends that worked there mm -hmm. and she just comes out and blurts out the word fuck mm. and she goes, I'm sorry about that language and my friend looks at her and she goes, Y'all just say that for, to her. She goes, this area right here, bent. A free there's area. There's no filter. There's no nothing. I, I mean, and this was today. So I walked over there. Fuck that. Fuck this. Fuck this place. And see, that's good because a lot of places don't have HR people like you that allow employees just the a spot to let it out. Well, that's where I go. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. Because other places were like, uh, no. Not the, that's what, what do they call that when you cuss in a work and you shouldn't be? Insubordination. That's really insubordination? Isn't insubordination like not listening and following? It can be insubordination. Just language. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's, that's actually a category on a termination form. Wow. That's fucked up. Does anyone ever say thank you? I actually have quite a few employees that really appreciate me. Yeah? That's, yeah, yeah, I can tell. Uh, this is good. But I have also some very rude yeah. people that I never care to deal with. And that's the other part of manners is rude motherfuckers. And that goes along with people expecting shit. Like, hey, grab that for me. Hey. Uh, especially motherfuckers think they're hard asses. You just being kind holding the door before them. Like, they just walk in like, yeah. At work at This bitch held the door before me. I was like, man, I wish you knew what you were going to do. I would shut that bitch on your fucking ass. I wish I would have known, uh... Or, at work, it bothers me when people go, you need to do this. You need. I'm like, you, I'm pretty sure don't tell me what I need to do. You need not to tell me what I need to do. I know what I need to do, and I prioritize very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There's a door. No. Yeah. I Do you get a lot of ma'ams? Excuse me, ma'am. I don't get that at all. Like, I, no, I don't like that shit. Dude, I always, I, dude, for the longest time, it doesn't matter where I am, I usually get sir. No, I, I, they tried to do that when I first hired in. I was like, nope, you can call me Leslie. I appreciate the whole sir thing, but I am not a sir. 
like and for strangers i understand that but just like you can call me man like, and i'm most definitely not a man yeah i'm probably the biggest bitch that you have ever seen yeah i'd rather be saying hey bitch no, that I'd, was I'd, a lot of work i would allow him to i'd rather be called man dude <laughs> uh hey uh uh, sir, just doesn't fucking. And sometimes call me, they call me shortstop. You can call me a cocksucker for all I care. Don't call me sir. Like if you don't know my name, like uh, oh, what was the word I was gonna think of? Uh, not sir. Um, don't call me guy. That's the one word I hate. Mm -hmm. Hey guy. Yeah, I'm a dude. You don't even call me guy. Like what mm -hmm. the fuck? Hey guy. Thanks guy. The fuck is Guy? And in fact, I hate that fucking name. <laughs> like, I feel sorry for guys that are named Guy. Like, at what point do our parents think it was a good idea to name their fucking son Guy? Well, Guy P.A. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> Let's call him fucking Mr. Flavortown. He doesn't need to be fucking <laughs> called either name. Because if you don't know how to pronounce his last name, it's confusing. Then you have to call him Guy. Uh. One of the best bartenders ever that I've seen was in the, the Muncie uh, uh, Applebee's. He came to our career day, which I totally fucked up career day. I thought it was a big joke, so I put in truck driver. Not that there's anything wrong with truck drivers. I just put occupations that I knew I wouldn't be able to do. Uh, bartender and some other bullshit. So <laughs> we have to go all these classes like and talk to them. And truck drivers make a lot of money. I mean, they do a lot for the fucking country and shit. And I, I respect that. I just I, I just thought it was a joke. I was like, I'll never in my life. I, I To this day, I like I cannot drive a semi. So I have the yeah, utmost respect for that. I get nervous driving our big ass car down those thin lanes and put on the pike. <laughs> let alone driving a giant fucking semi and having to back the bitch up. Oh, God, no. Um, but now nah, the, the dude from Applebee's came to our school in Muncie and talked to us about bartending. Like, he's a really cool bartender and shit, but his name is Guy. I'm like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> like, but you gotta have manners as a parent, too, when you're naming your children. You gotta think of what they gotta go through in school when you name these kids. Peter Peters. <laughs> Richard Dix. Like, the, the funny names we went through, like, people actually name their kids this, and they don't think about it. Now, some of the older folks, it, it, didn't, it didn't mean that back in the day, but today... You got people naming their fucking kids crazy shit. And, and that, that's poor manners in my opinion because you love your kids, you want to take care of them, but you're going to give them a name that's going to give them hell in school for the duration of their tenure there. Mm -hmm. Until at least they're 18. Then once like you know, once they get, hopefully they have the confidence they don't give a fuck anymore. And you raise them right not to give a fuck what people think. But shit, that, that causes a lot of fucking problems. Like I always thought my last name corn like i told you like i didn't think no one was gonna marry him because our last name was corn that's so stupid i didn't at, at the time though i was like who the fuck's gonna marry you with the last name corn everybody gonna sit there and go corn and i didn't think about my dad like he would have beat the shit out of someone for making fun of his last name <laughs> you know what i mean i never thought about that i was never around so uh but yeah that's just crazy um what about uh excuse me you know the uh the one location where excuse me is used the least walmart walmart oh my god you knew exactly what i was talking about and, no and i expect and when it is used it's usually used very sarcastically like you're in their excuse way excuse me yeah like bitch get out the way and, and a lot of times it comes from someone with like there were four kids taking the whole aisle mm -hmm. and you try to take the <clears> path of least resistance and they're like, excuse me, I'll tell you fucking kids to fucking trail behind you like we do. Mm -hmm. Like, girls, get the fuck over. Yeah. We always like, hey, get over. There's people trying to get through. And I'm like, excuse me. Bitch, excuse your children. Why don't you teach them some fucking manners? <laughs> Not to block a whole fucking aisle away and shit. Ex excuse me. Fuck you. Parents that will be in there shopping alone and have a car on one side of the aisle and they're shopping on the other I mean, and then you can't get there at all. Here's the problem. I can't kick a bitch in the twat, but you certainly can. So I wish you would kick some of these bitches right in the fucking twat when they say, excuse me. Boom. Cut Sometimes pop. Sometimes at Walmart, I have to remember that I was not look good in stripes. Here's the problem though. Walmart, Walmart, if you try to give someone a cunt punt, your foot might get lodged. 
in the veg with some of these fucking nasty hoes. Ugh. That's true. Excuse me. Uh, and then sometimes you say excuse me trying to be polite and are like, I said excuse me, motherfucker. <laughs> I was trying to be polite and kind. Like, excuse me. Oh, you're in my way. I ain't gonna sit here and wait for you to look at the fucking hamburger helper on this side of the fucking aisle. You're sitting on that side of the fucking aisle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't fucking pff, me. You never you never watched Ed Bass Ed Bet yeah Ed Bassmaster have you? He had a show on TV. We started watching a little bit, but he has like a psh guy. He dresses in this little sweater but and crazy what kind shit. What show is that? It was he does different characters. He goes out like hidden cameras and <clears throat> fucks with people. One character he has like a like, prank show. Yeah, he has one character. He goes like he's like the psh guy. I don't know what that is. He walks up, people looks at him, he goes psh. Yeah. And he walks off all cocky and shit. But some of these motherfuckers like that, like walk around like that. Like, but that was in my bubble. Where? Me? Yes. And you went. Babe. You don't get that close unless you're kissing me. Babe, we ain't got no bubbles together. Our bubbles collide. We'll create a big bubble. Mm -mm. With a lot of suds. That's another word thing. Really? <laughs> all shit. up in my shit. All up in my shit. If you could spit on my face talking to me. You're too fucking close. That's another thing with manners. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's people that want to being for real. Yes. High five. People that want to get up in your face and they spit when they talk. I'm sorry if you spit on my face, a fist is soon to follow. I don't like to be spit on. Nobody likes to be spit on. You spit on someone, that's fighting terms. I'm sorry. I don't want anyone's bodily fluids ever on me at any time. And I'm sure you feel the same way. Yes. Yeah, that is, you, you spit on someone just because you're fucking yelling at them? That's fighting terms. Yeah, granted, we've had our fucking bullshit where I probably spit on you, spit on me. Um, do you remember you spit on me accidentally yes, yelling at me? Yes, I do. And I'll most not yes, the fuck out I of Yes, I do absolutely remember that. Um, yes, I do remember that, but I, I, I wouldn't have actually... I deserve that, so I would have taken... And you still continue. Well, I'm sorry, but damn it, I would have... You're lucky I didn't knock you outside of your motherfucking head. <laughs> yeah, this is true. But yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. You spit on someone, expect fists to follow, unless you're just a little bitch. I'm sorry. If you sit there and let someone spit on you at any point in time without saying anything, you need to grow some balls. Because that person that's spitting on you needs to be put in their fucking place. That is, that's bad manners. Very bad. <laughs> you shouldn't be that close. There is a bubble with people. And that, that's another thing with manners. People don't respect the bubble. Oh, they sure do with me. My supervisor, the other, like, the other work, he wants to come up. Hey, nope. how's it going? I'm like, hold up. And I'll be like, oh, you got to step back. Nope. There's a space here. We don't talk this close. Like, I'm not in the military. Because he was an army guy. I was like, you're not a drill sergeant. You're going to fucking come in my face and fucking spit. Like, I don't care what you did in your past. I respect the service you did for the country, but damn it, do not fucking get in my face like that. We're not in that situation. We don't play those games. That's bad manners. You don't just get up in anyone's face because you think that's acceptable in public. I never... Um, mm. And there are certain situations where things are acceptable. And in public, as a civilian, it's not acceptable to get up in someone's face like that. And like, you can smell their breath. That's too fucking close. Please step back about 22 and a half steps. Before I murder my fucking foot in your cock. Eef. And I'm not a guy. I don't like to kick people in the balls. That's just like a low blow cheap shot. But damn it. You really want to sometimes. Like I just wish I wanted to kick you in the fucking. I want to shove your pelvic bone up into your fucking sternum. Is that bad? Why can't you just say I'm going to kick you in your gonads? <sighs> gonads used to be a funny term as a kid. And I'm like. As older I get I'm like. You know what? No one understands the term gonads, especially the younger generation. They don't know what the fuck gonads are. What if I go in there and ask my son what a gonad is? I'll I just think, be like, son, what's your, where's your gonads? Uh, a go, uh, I, th those are two different things. I don't think gonads are testicles. And if I'm wrong on this, I'm out of whack completely with I'm my whole body. But damn, um, that's bad manners. What? You know, this is bad manners. People coming up and wanting to fucking touch you. Strangers. 
put their hands on you. <laughs> Unless it's like an elderly couple, you know, some old folks, like this, like that's what they're used to doing. I'm okay with that. Some motherfucker come up, put their hand, like get the fuck up off me. You don't fucking go up and touch someone. Uh, right. Absolutely. It's slang rarely used in singular, the tes testicles. They call them gonads. I'm being for real. No, I don't. It's I, I, Urban I, 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 Dictionary. That's Urban Dictionary. What the yeah, fuck else do you want? I want a uh, real. I want a dictionary.com. <coughs> it's slang. Gonads is a slang term. Yeah, you're right. But I just want it's to make sure. It's not a fucking I just actual never, definition. You're, and that's where I was out of touch with my own body. Gonads, the organs and animals that produce sex cells. That's my dick. Your testes. No, I got none of this. Produce the sperm. That 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 creates the cum shot. Ovaries in the female and testes in the male. So women have gonads. Exactly. That's bad manners. So challenge me again. I always will. Like I told you, I might be out of fucking touch. <laughs> yeah, but you know more about the female body than your fucking own. Get out of here with that. This is true, shit. actually. This is true. That's silly. You're silly. What are some other bad manner examples you can think of? Hanging up on me. Hanging up on somebody. Oh my god, there's one thing Miss Mixed hates, and like, I swear she's like, wishes she was in the vicinity of the person that hangs up on her because she's about to throw some fucking hands. Do not hang up on Miss McSud. She can hang up on you all day. Do not hang up on her. Or ASAP. Or ASAP. I don't have a problem with ASAP, but you do. I think it's very rude. I think there's so much nicer ways to say right away. As soon as possible. Or, or get this done. As you quickly can, as you can. Or immediately. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking text me ASAP. She hates ASAP in all capitals with exclamation points. I just hate it in all capital letters, period. Period. It doesn't even have to have exclamation points or any punctuation. And, and manners come to emails and texts as well, the way you... Oh, there's definitely attitude in emails. Yes. I've been told my emails are rude. And yeah. I'm nice in person. Yeah, I'm like, a, lot, a lot of times you have to have me proofread your shit to make sure it's not coming off as rude or yeah. angry or anything else. Um, but for the most part, I don't... Uh, there's very few things in emails or texts that I will take as attitude or rude. Like those are texts or emails. I could give a fuck less, but there are certain things I can tell when someone's being serious. Capital letters are one. See, that don't even, Exclamation I don't even points. care about capital letters. Like I don't like emails of all capital letters because to me that is like yelling in an email. Like I got home office email today mm -hmm. and her subject line was question in all capital letters. Mm-hmm. And, and some people type with their fucking caps lock on. Well, she did. She didn't have them on underneath. Mm -hmm. But I also sent her an email yesterday, and I don't know how but, the fuck I did this. But here, okay, go ahead. Yeah. I typed, I like quick question in the subject line. Mm -hmm. So I put quick with a capital Q, mm -hmm. and somehow I hit my all caps and question was in all caps. Ooh. I didn't mean all that though. But I get the subject line, especially if you have a question, you put in all caps in the subject line. And you keep your email normal. The caps kind of draws attention. Like I got a question, you kind of hope that whoever is going through your email is like, oh. You're still as high importance. It comes through with the fucking red exclamation point. Yeah, but I mean, I can see where they would. Someone person would think if you put it in capitals. That doesn't like, bother me. I yeah. don't care. I give two fucks about caps. Oh. But if you say ASAP. Are you capping, baby? Seriously. Are you straight capping? Yeah. Do you know what capping means? Yes, yeah, lying. Okay. Oh my god. You know where she learned that? Probably my child. Not from me, her daughter. She'd be straight capping, boo. Oh my god. I'm like, what, what the fuck does that mean? Because capping, I always think you're shooting him. Like you're putting what, that, That's why that, that, you get capped. I mean, that's that was my thing, but now it's at like, dual meetings. That's why I was like, what are you all talking about? And her friends, like, she, uh, the friend, her know, friends that teach her that, I get on and I fuck with them and they love me. <laughs> she was like, <clears throat> She'll say something like, well, they stick straight cap and boo, and you'll hear them fucking start cracking up. So I sound like the cheesy, cheesy dad where my new balance is fucking <laughs> come up. And, or just like, but I know what it means, but I just like to fuck with them. It's good talk. It builds character. 
Anyway, cheers to the very first episode of the McStud Show. Our topic was manners. What are we going to talk about tomorrow? I ain't thinking about tomorrow yet. You live in the now. Can I please fucking sleep first? No. We're going to drink co co I'm gonna get a pot of coffee. Yeah, three. We're staying up till five. Shit, the fuck. I am going to bed at my fucking time by 1230 this, tonight, and I give two fucks if I eat or whatever. I mean, it's going to happen. That's I'm going not, to bed at no, 1230. No. 230. No. 230. That's bad manners. You're, you have you, bad manners. You don't respect. Ask me to fucking stay up till 2.30 in the you morning. You don't respect my authority. <laughs> that face, though. That face that you can never take off video when I say that. She's like, this motherfucker. <laughs> so I love her. are you? I'm, I'm probably your future husband. You ain't even talking to me like that. I'm no. Fucking future husband. No, I ain't that kind of guy. But <laughs> it's funny, though. You give me that, like, that look. That's a serious look. She's like. And that's what she give everyone. She's like, bitch, please. <laughs> Even my supervisors. Yeah, she does it to everyone. She doesn't care. <laughs> the fuck you talking to like that? I'm your motherfucking husband. I take and I give. Just kidding. I can never do that. I'm actually probably, probably the... Uh, how would you describe me emotionally? An emotional fuck. I'm an emotional fuck. And I can never even get you to be mean, except when I don't want you to be mean. I was talking about this the other day. <laughs> this is true. I'm like, oh, and we argue, and he just had this <laughs> huge... Like, I have to be worked up. Argue, I have to be worked up to get that way. He has this huge fucking explosion every once in a while, and I'm like, oh my god, he really can't get mad. Why can't he get mad when I really want him to be mad? And the thing is, the older I get, the less that happens. And then sometimes... I've learned, and I try to control it. And, and sometimes I even well. try to make him mad. And now you can't. Like, I'll try to, like, push buttons, or I'll try to... And you can't now. And he won't. And sometimes I just want him to be mad. And you can't. Like, I'm so laid back. And I'm, when I'm it to comes to, like, bill collectors, or if he needs to make payment arrangements or something like that, he's like, are you going to be rude? Because I can't do that. I want you to fucking be mad, like be mad at them. The older and the less, the, the older I'm getting, like I've, I've well, I don't have I, my time is getting less and less done with the bullshit. So you're gonna have to step up to the plate. Well, I'm you're gonna be that cranky old man. I haven't reached cranky old man. I've well, I've reached laid back old man no, status. I don't want that fucking bullshit. <laughs> You've always been that way. I no, I thought, I'm mad. actually like reaching laid back, laid well, back. Well, I want old man. you to be mad. Ugh. You're mad. Anyways, first episode of the McStud Show is in the books. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. And we'll catch you bitches tomorrow with big dildos and Mrs. McStud's twat. Negative. Okay, different, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Deuces, bitches. <laughs> ah.